This is how I caught the hardest Dynamax Adventure Legendary. Zygarde is arguably the hardest Dynamax Adventure raid in the entire game for a myriad of different reasons. Firstly, it's locked behind a paywall, being in the Sword and Shield Crown Tundra DLC. Next, you have to be able to even find the Zygarde path to begin with. But this isn't even close to the real reason why it's so difficult. Each raid takes 15 to 20 minutes, especially online waiting on people to click their moves. So imagine doing a run for that long just to fail at the last minute. Extremely frustrating and very irritating. Zygarde is a dragon ground type, so we will primarily be targeting fairy and ice type Pokemon since Zygarde can also hit other dragon types for super effective. Zygarde's raid moveset is Bind, Dragon Pulse, Lands Wraith, and Thousand Arrows. You would much prefer Zygarde to click Bind or Dragon Pulse instead of its spread moves. Because of Zygarde's Thousand Arrows move, this hits all Levitate and Flying type Pokemon, essentially bypassing the ground immunity they usually have. So because of this, I will also be targeting Pokemon who know the move Wideguard. There are only 5 total users in Dynamax Adventures who know Wideguard, and they are Me and Xiao, Pelipper, Kingler, Mantine, and Hitmonlee. Wideguard stops Zygarde from using spread moves, so the key here is to Wideguard that Zygarde. Zygarde is so hard that even with Wideguard and Ice type Pokemon, there is still no guarantee you will win the raid. Especially because Zygarde's ability is perfect form. When Zygarde gets to 50% HP, he will heal. 25 to 30 percent and become much bulkier and stronger on top of that he will use double spread moves every turn once in that form putting on the pressure even more we can also target pokemon who know reflect and status inflicting moves like will-o-wisp or confuse ray but even having the perfect path and three other competent trainers it still does not ensure your success also because of all of this it makes it extremely difficult to solo or play with any AI simply because margin of error is so low. I can't think of another raid that requires this much coordination and teamwork just to take down a single Pokemon. A single misclick can mean your demise. I decided to shiny hunt Zygarde and put myself through the misery of grinding this raid in hopes that in the next upcoming Pokemon game, Pokemon Legend ZA, Zygarde will get some type of new form or something because it seems to be a game centered around Zygarde. So hopefully all this pain and effort will be worth it. Now, I stream almost every single night, and one and a half months ago, I started this grueling pursuit of this white toothpaste tube. I have been grinding every day for usually three plus hours at a time, hunting this dang snake. Because of all the RNG involved, and sometimes not getting enough players to fill spots, I had a ton of fails. In my estimation, I had an extra 40% failed runs. When I'm shiny hunting legends, I only count a run if I successfully finished the raid and checked if the legend was shiny or not. And after 211 successful Zygarde raids, something special happened. Alright, good luck, here we go! Okay, no shine. No shine! No shine! Oh my god! No freaking way! Let's go! 211! Let's freaking go! Let's go! Oh my god! Oh my god! The grind is finally over! Oh my god! Let's go, guys! Oh my god! Finally! 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 Oh! I'm sorry I just screamed. I'm sorry that I probably just woke up your guys' entire house. Yo, let's go! I hope you guys enjoyed my crazy reaction. There is nothing like the dopamine rush of getting something you pursued for so long. This has been a pursuit and a half, and I don't wish this misery upon my worst enemy. I'm grateful the grind has come to an end after a month and a half straight, and 400 plus total raids. Do you guys agree that Zygarde is the hardest DA? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and until next time, see you YouTube.